So um, could you please introduce yourself um, for us? Yeah, my name is Joe D'Amato. I am the Director of Instructional Technology and Pupil Services at DePue Union Free School District. It's a suburb outside of Buffalo, New York. Wonderful. Um, so I know from the ISTPLN that you use Kajit. Um, could you tell us a little bit about why you started using it? Okay. Um, three years ago, we went one-to-one -one in our district, K-12, to um, and deployed 1,700 devices. And we immediately had a concern with um, wireless access at home for many of our families. We have about a 50% Interest rate, so we have a lot of needy families. So we started exploring options to provide Wi-Fi at home. Great. Um, so you had mentioned too that you also use them on your buses. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Um, we we started with three school buses. We uh, midway through our first year of one to one, we retrofitted three school buses with um, the Kajit Wi-Fi hotspots. And by the end of, or for school year next year, we should have 31 out of 53 of our buses with wireless access for our students on school devices. Great, and so how has this helped your students having the Wi-Fi on the buses? Um, well, it, it allows our students to um, use our learning management system uh, to complete homework assignments, um, little entertainment purposes, uh, the focus started with our, our, our athletes, you know, as they travel to away games. You know, that's a lot of time out of their day going to and from games. So it gave them an opportunity to engage with schoolwork. Um, and that was the whole reason was to, was to make sure that we gave them as much access as they could to, to help them be successful. That's great. Um, so then you also uh, do check them out to some students. Uh, you mentioned that you have uh, quite a large uh, free and reduced population. How did you decide which students would get to check out the uh, devices? Um, so we, we have devices for students in grades 6 to 12. Our K to 5 don't take their Chromebooks home. Um, so we don't check them out in the library. I check them out. Um, and it's based on the student need. And uh, what we do is if a name is brought to us either by a parent or a student or a teacher, uh, you know, I, we, we check to make sure they're on the free lunch list because they should have a demonstrated need. Then I have a conversation with the family and I offer them assistance. Um, amazingly enough, I would say more than half the families turn it down claiming they have Wi-Fi or they have a plan. Um, and so we have about a dozen devices out right now with students um, and it gives them assistance. Yeah, that's terrific. Um, so how, how has this fit into your budget? Um, our, our technology director incorporates um, the Kajit data into his budget um, and it's the data rolls over so that's a good, good thing. We don't always use our maximum. Um, the, the buses Kajit um, comes out of, it's paid through the, the bus garage's budget, but um, it's part of the bundle that we get from, uh, that we get from Kajit. So we have one big bundle, part of it's paid through the bus garage, and it comes out of our technology budget. So how would you say that this has made a difference in terms of digital equity at your school? I think it gives our, our, our families that are, uh, have financial need um, a little bit of a respite from an from a extra expense, and it it gives our students the support they need at home to do the work we expect them to do with the with our LMS and you know with the one to one we have a lot of expectations for doing things at home, um, and it's so much better than sending a kid to Walmart or Starbucks to sit and use the Wi-Fi there. So. For sure. Well, it sounds like a great program, Joe. Thank you so much for uh, telling us about it. Well, you're welcome. I'm glad I could be a part of this.